Hi, students. So we're going to talk about the book Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 that we're going to be reading in Humanities this winter. So while you're reading Mouse, first of all, um, please know that it is a graphic novel and it is split into multiple chapters in each of the uh, two copies that we'll be reading, Mouse 1 and Mouse 2. You should have a reading schedule. Please make sure you have your name up here and keep this in your novel so that we know who it belongs to. So let's talk first about um, week one. So we're in week one right now. You're getting your book today. And on Thursday the 17th, which is some time away, Thursday the 17th, you need to have your notes completed, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. Please note that week two, finishing the novel, those notes will also be due on the 17th. This is correct that it's the same date. We just have a lot going on and I want you to have time to adequately complete both. Okay? And then we'll have mouse two split into two sections with two different dates. So let's talk about the notes. That's really what we're here to discuss today. These notes we're going to be taking are called dialectic notes. You can see here on the bottom that for each section, you are going to complete um, dialectic notes. These notes are going to have five items per section. So on the 17th, you'll be completing five notes for the first three chapters and five notes for the second half of the novel. We're only doing five per section because we know you're also reading a choice book, which we'll talk a little bit more about um, on Monday. So for the five notes, here are some things you're looking for. You can make a thematic connection. Um, some of the things we're looking at are guilt, prejudice, memory, perseverance, this idea of luck and serendipity, or family. You can even write hope here. It's a pretty big one and I just missed it. Hope as well. We're also going to be looking at image analysis in the graphic novel, so selecting a specific panel to look at. You, can all, you should also select an important quote. This might be a quote because it's related to an event that's happening or character development. So you're going to need at least um, one of every bolded item. So that gets you to three. You're going to need two more. So here are some other ideas. Um, you could do unfamiliar words or concepts, literary techniques, like foreshadowing, a hint of what's to come, metaphor, when something has a deeper meaning, uh, symbolism, an item that's represented um, that also has a deeper meaning. If you have a question that runs through your mind about something that's happening, either related to the Holocaust in general or a plot, you could do that. Free choice, etc. Okay, so five item, items one of each of the bolds and two more of your choice. If you want, you can do, you know, you could do a couple more graphic novel images and another quote, okay? So that's what we're looking at. So let's talk about how to represent that. So we're going to be doing this item called dialectic notes. And if you've ever heard of Cornell notes, it has a similar setup. So I'd like you to hit pause and get a blank sheet of paper and get yourself set up here. We're going to write at the top week one mouse and your name and a quick reminder that it's going to have five notes, okay? You're gonna draw a horizontal line all the way across. Then I want you to find center and go one inch left and draw a vertical line all the way down your paper, okay? And then what you're going to do on the left-hand side is identify the page number and the panel number that you're looking at and what topic, and when I say topic, I mean, are you doing a thematic connection, an image analysis, a quote, etc. okay? So that's what you will write over here. On the right-hand side, this is where you're going to explain the topic and you're going to analyze it. This side has a two sentence minimum. This should be the bulk of your analysis, okay? So let's look at some examples. So, um, in any example I have, you may not use in your notes, okay? These ones are off limits. So the first one I have is page 12, panel 8, and I'm doing an image analysis. Panel 8 is a circular shape, and all others are rectangular. The purpose of this is to key the reader um, that there's a switch to a flashback image. We're looking at Vladek as a young man. 
So that's page 12, panel 8. A little further on, I'm looking at page 14, panel 14, and I'm doing a quote analysis. The quote is, I didn't want to be more closer with her, but she really wouldn't let me go. This quote demonstrates that Vladek's English grammar is not correct. He must have learned English as an additional language potentially later in life. So this is my analysis, the quote in my analysis, and this is me identifying what my um, note is. Another example for a required item, I kind of combined two different panels, page 11, panel one, and page 26, panel one, and the thematic I'm, connection I'm making is family. And in these panels, the narration explains that the author, Art, is not very close with his father, Vladek, but he visited him regularly to record the story as a graphic novel. I wonder how their relationship will change, if they will become closer while um, Art records Vladek's experiences. So these are the three required, and then I would do two additional of my choice, okay? So this is how you would do it if you are going to handwrite it. You are also welcome to do this digitally on a computer, and you can find that template on PowerSchool. If you have any further questions, please come and see me. Uh, that is all. Go forth and be fruitful.